Hello and a very warm welcome to you. A couple of days ago I published a video in which I showed this image of the Bass Rock Island in East Lothian, or off the coast of East Lothian, taken from 37 metres elevation at Kinghorn uh, in Fife. And I also showed the same island uh, photographed from Dalgetty Bay in Fife from an elevation of about five metres above sea level. Now, the photographs were taken on different days, um, and that really isn't important to the point that I was making. I was able to overlay the two images uh, and show that um, the image from Dalgetty Bay has a large portion of the amount of bass rock that's visible from Kinghorn uh, blocked from our view uh, by the water. As you can see here, as I fade the pictures in and out, you can see clearly that the only the top portion of the bass rock is visible from Dalgetty Bay. And I posted a challenge to anybody who thinks the earth is flat to provide an explanation for this observation. I've had one or two responses, and they seem to have rather missed the point. So there seems to be a considerable amount of confusion about uh, what I was requesting from uh, the Flat Earth community in my previous video. So I thought I would here give a simple spherical Earth explanation um, based purely on the observation that uh, the island of the Bass Rock can be seen almost completely uh, right down to the um, the base or where, where the water meets the, the island, uh, but probably not quite down to that point, uh, from 37 metres at Kinghorn, and why only the top, perhaps third of the island, perhaps a quarter of the island is visible from uh, five meter elevation at Dalgetty Bay. So this diagram is on the Metabunk uh, curvature calculator. And the diagram is uh, interactive, so you can click on uh, the red uh, points and move them around. So you can vary your camera height, and you can vary the distance between the viewer and the object by moving either the object or the viewer as you choose. Now this is a purely uh, geometric diagram and it does not take into account any atmospheric refraction. However, that's really not important. What I'm going to do is illustrate in principle uh, the spherical Earth explanation for my observation. As I said in the original video, it's very simple to do. So if we call this camera height 37 meters, and this location, uh, Kinghorn in Fife, and this is the Bass Rock, and its location in uh, off the coast of East Lothian. At this uh, particular um, distance and camera height, the vast majority of the bass rock is visible, with only a small portion uh, being hidden. Reducing the camera height to approximately five meters, and I'm just reducing an amount here to show in principle what happens on a, or what we would expect to happen on a spherical Earth. And the amount hidden increases uh, by you know, a significant amount, and possibly here we've got a third, uh, maybe a quarter of the, the object is now hidden from view. Uh, but I didn't just reduce my camera height to five meters. I looked at the observation uh, from much further away in Dalgetty Bay. 
And when you move uh, the observer further away on the spherical Earth, then you further increase the amount of hidden object. So the object, the, the vast majority of the object is now hidden from view, with only the top quarter or so being visible in the diagram. This, in principle, is what happens on a, or what would be expected to happen on a spherical Earth. And does explain my observation in those very simple, basic terms. Now, we could further analyze the precise distances and elevations in question and factor in uh, what would be expected in terms of atmospheric refraction on the day in question. And compare what is actually observed with what would be expected on a spherical Earth of 6,371 kilometers. And I will do that uh, at some point uh, when I have the time to do it. it. It will take a significant time and be a longer video to do that properly. For now, all I'm interested in is whether flat Earth has an equivalent simple explanation for the observation. Why does moving the, lowering the camera height and moving the uh, viewer further away cause a significant, a, a major increase in uh, the amount of the object that is hidden from view if the Earth is flat. So you can use a diagram like this uh, or similar to this. You can use a much simpler diagram. Just a couple of lines, two or three lines is all that's really needed. You can incorporate atmospheric refraction into your explanation if you wish to do so. If the only reason uh, on a flat Earth that objects would be hidden is due to atmospheric refraction, then that's fine. Include that in your explanation and explain how that refraction works to obscure the bottom portion of an object when you reduce camera height and move a viewer further away. So that's really all I wanted to say. Just the request is for a simple explanation of the principle that applies on your flat earth to cause objects to be hidden from view the further away you go and the lower your elevation. If you can't provide a, a simple in principle explanation uh, for how this observation is possible on a flat earth, then you have to accept that the spherical earth explanation is the best explanation that we have, um, regardless of whether uh, you can point to uh, tiny uh, discrepancies between the uh, predicted and observed uh, observation on a spherical Earth. So provide your in principle explanation, then we can talk about which one best matches what we observe in reality.